Fasten your seatbelts. You're about to take off on a 40-year flight through adventure, fun, success, stuff-ups, tragedy, and triumphs. Join us on a journey where we've opened up the world for our amazing customers to explore. Through both good and challenging times, we've survived many a storm and had an absolute ball along the way. Flashback to the 1970s. The facial hair is dodgy and the Aussie travellers are even dodgier. Our founder and CEO Screw and his mate Spy buy a double-decker bus and take off on their first tour around Spain, Portugal and Morocco. Fast forward your Sanyo cassette deck to 1975 and that one bus has multiplied like guinea pigs. Top Deck opens its doors in London. By 1978, Top Deck is operating 26 buses and the crew was partying their way around Europe, pretending it was a proper job. Welcome to the 1980s. Screw returns to Oz. Airlines have been deregulated and Screw reckons Australia is ripe for the picking, which makes sense for a bloke who grew up on an apple farm. In 1982, Flight Centre opens in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. In 1984, Frankie says relax, don't do it, but we did it anyway, and Flight Centre opened in London. And in 1987, we said, cheer bro, and opened our first store in New Zealand. In 1988, we welcomed the very first captain. We've had five of those gents and ladies ever since. And by the end of the 1980s, we had 345 people working in 63 shops across Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. The 90s were all about Friends, Seinfeld, Guns N' Roses, and Flight Centre floating on the stock exchange. We also added more brands and more countries, but still less sleeves. We all know how the 2000s began. The world and travel changed forever with events like 9-11, the collapse of ANSET, the GFC, and the Iraq War. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. It also gave us the first generation iPhone and Facebook. We closed out the decade with 400 shops worldwide and a team of 3,000 people. This decade was all about Instagram, Angry Birds, and trying to keep up with the Kardashians. For the first time ever, we were profitable in every country we operated in. 2020 will forever be remembered as that year. After facing government mandated closures of the travel industry, we had to make some of the hardest decisions in our company's history. But we're back, baby, ready for the world to experience our experience. Speaking of, we have over 14,000 years between us. We welcome new captains, that's me, and made all of our amazing people official co-captains of the brand. In 2021, vaccination programs rolled out in major travel hubs, making them COVID resilient. Now we're flying into the future, where Screw predicts we'll be flying from Sydney to London or New York in about six hours. And he's been right before. To the thousands of people who've helped us shape this amazing company and our loyal customers who've joined us on this journey, thank you so much for the past 40 years, and here's to the next 40.